Hello, and welcome to Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. Um, sorry for the subpar video angle, but I'm working outside on my balcony, and uh, I can't exactly get my face and the project in the video. So I'm going to try to get this done. And uh, in today's video, uh, I bought some plants, uh, some from Houston Garden Center, and uh, some from uh, Buchanan's Native Plants here in Houston, Texas. Uh, the, the way I like to look at it is, is if, if you already know what you want, know what you need, and want to save a little bit, and don't mind no returns and poor customer service, go to Houston Garden Center. Uh, if you need to know what you need, and... Uh, need knowledgeable staff and great customer service, then you go to uh, Buchanan's Native Plants. Um, so I'll show you the selection I got and what from where, and uh, we'll get started. All right. This plant I have here, hold on, let me move this out of the way. This plant I have here is the uh, Carolina Jasmine. Good, fragrant, yellow flowers. Uh, there were a few on them. I uh, don't know if you can quite see, there's, there's, there's one just here out of shot. Let me try to bend that down a little bit. And, uh... We're just going to uh, repot it. I have some 10 inch terracotta pots. Uh, I like using these. I used to use plastic ones. Didn't really care for the, the brittleness after being in the sun. These are obviously old ones that were, uh, that were used. I had a, uh, of course, anyone in the area knows we had a bad freeze again not as bad as a few years ago but uh, it killed off most of my plants and I needed to uh, repot them uh, so well I need to buy new ones and clean up old dead ones and do all that so anyway egg I do use a uh, miracle grow moisture control potting mix I know it's you know, some people are going to be like, oh, you got to use organic or you got to use, you know, only use compost. Well, I live in an apartment complex and all I have is uh, containers. So I do with what I can. All right. Now, some people may find this controversial. Um, I like using these. These are called uh, drain it by... Planket, I believe, is the company. Have a new one here. And uh, this is uh, basically just goes in the bottom, prevents the soil from falling out. It's not as uh, bad as some people might think. But uh, I find it works good. And, you know, when you have a, an old container that uh, an old plant died out of, you just Take the soil out, re reuse the uh, reuse the drainage. So I'm going to get this uh, Carolina jasmine uh, potted up, and we'll go from there. I like using just a little cup to just scoop out the dirt, fill up the containers. course if I didn't buy such a large bag to try to save some money eh, this would make it a little easier I guess technically I could have prepared this a little better but I already spent so much time trying to get the filming angle as best as I could <laughs> not that this is that great 
kind of just smooth it out. Get it. You want to get your, well, okay. I'll put it this way. Here's how I do things. Everybody's going to have their own way of dealing with plants and what you should use, what you shouldn't use, how much dirt, how much water, how much light. It all varies. I always say find what works for you. Even if you got to try a few different ways. By no means is, is this the only way to do things. But it's the way that I do things. Alright. So now that I've put... Well... <laughs> now that I've put too much dirt in here... Uh, now we need to take what's in this container... And uh, take it out. Uh, hopefully it comes out easily and I don't have to cut it, but... If I do, I do. It is what it is. Kind of make you a nice little cavity in here. Try not to lose too much of the dirt. I probably shouldn't have put so much in there. Meh. That should be about, about good. Oh, that came out way easier. Alright, so here we have a common issue when you buy plants. Uh, bit of root bound. You don't have to necessarily... Whew, dirt goes flying. You don't necessarily have to actually break them up too much. You just kind of got to tease them a bit. Just kind of break them up. Get them, uh, get them to where they're not going to root go around and around in a circle so much. I am making so much of a mess. Good thing I did this outside. At this point, I realized that, uh, well, later on now in editing, that uh, my audio had given completely out. Uh, for anyone who's watching the other videos, uh, you know I've been having an issue with that. And uh, my videos are, of course, kind of out of order. Uh, so... I had no clue at this point. Anyway, so I'm getting done here uh, potting the plant up. This jasmine has done fairly well. I love the nice little vines as they easily curl and climb. This is a, a very nice plant that will give plenty of vines, plenty of flowers over time. Another thing with living in an apartment is you got to be able to contain some of the water. So these little trays just go under your container. And uh, if there's a little bit of excess, whether it's from watering or from the rain, uh, it just collects it. And great thing is with terracotta is it can soak it right up between the material of the terracotta and the... Uh, the hole that's in the bottom along with the, the drain it it allows water to pass through now you can sub irrigate watering from the bottom or you can do like what is pretty much average for everybody and water from the top uh, that is a complete personal choice there uh, I've done combination of each and now for my next plant this is a honeysuckle. If I remember correctly, it is a coral honeysuckle. Uh, I just kind of wanted to grow it and see how it did. And it surprisingly is kind of fragile. And uh, this one was already damaged, so I just kind of pinched off a little bit. And, uh, well, it is what it is. So one thing I like about the idea of honeysuckle is, well, they're supposed to be very fragrant. Um, there's varying kinds you can get, different colors and, and whatnot. Um, this is a, like I said, a coral honeysuckle. So it's kind of got a orangish, orangish, pinkish kind of a color to it. And uh, again, Similar with the uh, jasmine, 
is uh, just going to fill the container up with some dirt and, uh, and repot it and uh, keep it going. Now that I have the container filled with dirt and uh, again making space for the plant, uh, just a little bit of advice, don't fill the container up so much. Uh, unfortunately, this honeysuckle, while it has grown, um, it's not planted exactly correctly. And uh, in all honesty, I just haven't gone back and, and fixed it. But obviously, time having a pass from filming to editing, I can tell you, add less dirt to your container, then uh, put the plant in and fill in around it. I mean, I kind of know that, but I just didn't do it. Um, sometimes getting plants out of containers can be a bit difficult, depending on soil conditions and, and whatnot. Do your best not to damage the uh, plant. I, I do like to use the dirt that it was the plant was supplied with. Uh, kind of helps it ease into the the new dirt uh, again here I had added too much I should have added less then added the plant then topped off with new dirt remember you never want the dirt to be higher than it was when you got the plant uh, and again here you can see I'm adding more dirt uh, which again was not the uh, the best it does make watering a bit difficult but uh, get it to where you like it and uh, just make sure that once you've planted your plants you keep an eye on the dirt level it could be from wildlife could be from watering could be from just the plant simply growing sometimes the soil can either rise up or drop down and you really just want to make sure that you you keep a nice amount of dirt in there and for my next plant this is a uh, star jasmine also known as a confederate jasmine has small fragrant little white flowers on it uh, obviously they kind of look like a star when they bloom um, when it's not flowering it is a nice evergreen vine unlike the carolina jasmine uh, star jasmine doesn't really like to climb on its own from what I've seen so far. Um, but it's a it's a decent little plant. Uh, it'll stay green. And uh, as with a, a lot of plants, it's a first year it sleeps, second year it creeps, third year it leaves. And I can tell you from this plant, the the if this is the first year it sleeps oh boy um because only a few months in at this point and it has grown pretty well Car the carolina jasmine has grown a lot more um that's going to be exciting to see what all these plants do over time um but again, we're just going to pot it up and go. Uh, this plant does actually have a support piece in it because again, it, it doesn't, uh, vining plants like these really need some sort of support to them. Uh, so they have, they come with a little piece of bamboo. Uh, but you wanna make sure that you're near a railing, a trellis, something that it can wind on it's not going to cling like other types of vines things like fig ivy english ivy any of you know, i don't know i guess certain types of ivy 
um, these jasmines, they, they need something that they can wind around to be able to grow. Uh, as you can see here, I <laughs> took my own advice and didn't fill the container up the whole way. And uh, getting the plant put in. It takes a little bit sometimes to make sure that the plant is cared for as you're taking it out of its original container. You don't want to put too much stress on the crown, which is where the plant meets the top of the dirt. Uh, a lot of times when repotting, if you damage the crown, well, that's kind of it. And as you can see here, I, I uh, kind of messed up a little bit. And uh, the piece of bamboo kind of lost its support. But as I go, I, I do get it repositioned and secured. And uh, like I said, it has done it has it has done well. Um, it is definitely a plant I will be buying again. Once you have your plant, of course, potted up, you have added your dirt. Uh, here I added yeah, a little too much, <laughs> imagine that, and uh, kind of went above the crown a little bit. But I just wanted to make sure I had a decent amount and that everything was nice and secure. Um, if all else fails, if you ever add too much, you can always well, repot it again. But that is going to add a lot of stress to a plant. Um, on a lot of containers, it's best to leave a little bit of a gap, which is not what I'm doing here. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know why I did it this way. Uh, I just, it's just what I did. And, uh, it, it will vary plant from plant on whether that is successful. But like I said, this is the way I do things. This isn't necessarily a guide on the only way to do things. Um, do with the information what you like. And for my fourth and final plant here, I have butterfly weed. Uh, there are various types. Um, I've tried repeatedly to grow butterfly weed myself uh, and various types of milkweed. Uh, this is, I believe, tropical milkweed. And it, one good thing about buying it from a nursery, it's already got a caterpillar on it. Um, sad to say, I don't think it made it through the transition and repotting and it growing. Uh, of course, buying plants from a nursery uh, they're not always the best cared for, uh, especially this uh, milkweed here uh, was from Houston Garden Center. Uh, the Carolina jasmine and the milkweed uh, were both from Houston Garden Center. The star jasmine and the honeysuckle were from Buchanan's. Um, they are my preferred location, uh, but they didn't have everything I needed at that time. Milkweed is the go-to plant if you want to support butterflies. Uh, really any sort of pollinators, but obviously especially monarch butterflies. Uh, if you can, Plant some milkweed. A little or a lot. Just plant some milkweed. There are various types, various colors. Some plants are good for uh, nectar. Some are good as a host plant. Um, so feed plants, host plants. Milkweed is, is great. 
try to find your native varieties. Uh, one issue with tropical milkweed is it, it can cause some issues. Um, but it, it's beneficial, uh, especially for monarchs. Uh, as you saw, that caterpillar that was there as uh, a nice, nice little uh, addition. Uh, be careful when repotting milkweed. It doesn't always care for it. Um, it can be harsh sometimes. Um, obviously, I'm being extra careful here uh, due to the caterpillar. And uh, it turned out, like I said, it turned out pretty well. Moat, the plant survived, it's growing great. And of course, like any milkweed, uh, you're going to get aphids, especially coming from a nursery. Aphids are, I mean, they're literally born pregnant. So, best thing I can tell you, ladybugs. Ladybugs, 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 ladybugs. Uh, I try to introduce ladybugs a few times a year to help keep aphids under control. Um, obviously, you can tell by the, the droopiness of this milkweed that wasn't very well watered. Nutrients weren't as great as they should have been. And uh, I've now got milkweed stocks growing uh, about three to four feet tall now. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, they repeatedly flower. I It's just, it's an all-around great plant. And whether you buy another milkweed plant, you plant from seeds, or you propagate. No. <laughs> hint, hint, future video. Um, it's a great, great plant to have. It should be in everyone's garden, whether it's in ground, in containers, uh, pur purposefully planted, or just scattered wherever. It's 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 a great plant to to have. Um, just keep it watered. It it does seem to be a bit of a thirsty plant, but uh, keep it watered. Keep it happy and watch the butterflies fly in. Butterfly in the sky. Every time I see a butterfly, that's all I can think of. And hopefully now that song's stuck in your head too. Hello. It was about this point that I realized that my audio had messed up. Again, these videos are filmed and edited all out of order. Um, so there was a lot in this video that was, of course, audio part of it that was recorded that I don't have and don't remember what I said because it's been months ago. Um, so anyway, here is uh, my patio. Uh, have some plants. Various things just kind of pop up. Um, I've put out various plants, and I put out seeds all the time. Uh, some things just grow. Some things I think birds bring in, and I've literally sprinkled in bird seed on containers just because, well, I was tired of these bare plants. Uh, you can see I had a couple of uh, plants in here that didn't make it, and I didn't bother taking them out. I just, well, I just left them in there. Uh, these were actually giant sequoias. Yes, I am growing giant sequoias while living in an apartment complex. Obviously, they're not going to reach their full potential. Um, but as you can see, I have quite a few containers. The, the honeysuckles got way too much dirt in it. Um, I have plants that I uh, later found out were... Uh, Different ones I didn't know I had grown. Uh, that is a uh, 
Knockout Rose, I believe, came from HEV years ago, uh, and it grows and flowers. It's uh, unfortunately, due to various freezes, has not held up. Um, I just leave it, and hopefully it, it survives. Um, but it was a dollar plant at HEV, and it survived for years, and survived through multiple cold snaps. Well, cold snaps that were here for Texas. Most people would probably just call that winter. But it, 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 here in this part of Texas, anything below, you know, 60 is cold for most people and plants. Especially if you get into, uh, you know, below freezing. Uh, here's the, like I said, the Carolina Jasmine. It's growing good. I don't know what this plant is. Uh, it sprouted up and it's growing and I now actually have a few others. This tower was given to me and I've had various plants in it. And of course, like I said, the freeze and everything and stray cats like to get in there and take a nap on the nice cold dirt. So uh, nothing grows much in the bottom container. Uh, the top tier and the medium, the middle one, grow pretty well when stuff grows in there. One of the things I decided to do was to take the little piece of honeysuckle that had broken off and uh, I decided to stick it in the ground, see if it would grow. And it did. It actually grew. Um, didn't exactly survive, but it did grow. Um, uh, it actually got to a point it put on some new leaves and it flowered. Um, but I think the watering I was giving it uh, kind of did it in. But that is one great thing about plants is you can propagate them. Whether it's from seed or from cuttings. Again, hint, hint. Uh, future video. Uh, and, well, Plants are surprisingly amazing. Um, I've heard stories of people breaking off a piece of a, a bush and sticking it into the ground and coming back later and it had grown. And that sparked their interest in plants. Um, and I find that fascinating. For most people, plants are just something that's there some people obsess over them. Uh, living in an apartment and only having a balcony, to me, plants make it feel a little more like a home. Um, I do what I can. I grow what I can. Uh, I stick to flowers and ornamentals and stuff. Nothing edible or anything like that, you know, obviously I'm not one to eat a lot of vegetables, so, but if I could grow some tomatoes, I, I probably would. It's just an apartment is not the best place when people can damage your stuff because they will. Um, but again, whether you have one container or a thousand containers, whether you have a balcony, a backyard, or a small patch of dirt. Grow some plants. It's one of the best things you can do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, watching me dig around in the plants and everything. And, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. kind of said it. Hope you enjoyed. It is what it is. Be smart, stay safe, have fun.